So did you go to KCC to study music, or what were you going to? Well, I was. I went there to kind of figure out what I was going to do oh, yeah. with my life, right? Because I had no idea. I mean, when I was at KCC, um, I was playing with John and Lopaka, you know, as Pure Heart, and you know, we were doing graduation parties and birthday parties. But it was, you know, we were just having fun. We didn't know this was, you know, we didn't think this was going to be a job or a career or anything like that. We were just having fun. And, um, and yeah, so I was, I was in school. I thought I was going to maybe be a school teacher or something. Um, cause I like working with kids. So I thought I'd go oh. into, to education, but, um, but yeah, but you know, we kept, we kept playing and playing and then, uh, and then like, a I, a couple of years had gone by and, um, and a friend of mine, who was actually my ukulele teacher, um, uh, Doctor, uh, not what well, he goes by, Doctor Trey, but Tracy Tarada. Oh yeah, yeah. Was um, you know was one of my ukulele teachers, and he had just started a record label, so he invited us to you know to come and record a few songs, and that became our first Pure Heart record. <laughs> wow! Yeah. So it wasn't even necessarily your goal to release. An album yeah. is just like a hey, come and yeah. Well, something well, the thing of... was, um, well, the reason we recorded that album was because we were trying to get us, uh, we were trying to get, um, uh, we were trying to get a gig over at Stex. You remember Stex yeah, at yeah. Kahala Mall? <laughs> yeah. So we were trying to get there. You know, we were trying to, uh, we wanted to play there, and um, and the manager said, oh, we need a demo tape. Uh -huh. You know, if you guys want to play here, we, yeah, we need a demo tape so we can hear you guys and all that. So I thought, oh, okay. So I remember we went back, we went to John's house, and we had one of those Sony cassette tape recorders, yeah. you know, the black ones <laughs> yeah, that yeah. You, you have to press record and play yeah. at the same time. Record right? and play, yeah. Yeah, so we did that, and we, and we tried to record. It just sounded terrible, you know, because <laughs> the microphone on that thing, the built-in mic, yeah. right? you know, it's, it's, it's very harsh and just didn't sound, you know, it wasn't a good representation. Uh, so that, it was that actually, makes me feel good because me and my friend used to always record music <laughs> on those things. Yeah, and I thought it sounded terrible, and I thought it was us. <laughs> so now to know that Pure Heart sounded bad on those two, maybe we weren't so bad yeah. after all. <laughs> I mean, it was it was really funny. I mean, Lopaka would have to almost be in another room because you know his oh, the percussions right, yeah. are are much louder yeah. than the than the ukulele and the vocals and guitar and all that. So he'd have to be like. <laughs> You know, and on the other side of the room, and and John would be singing right up on the mic, and I'd be just a, a couple feet behind him. You know, and just sounded it just sounded terrible. So, um, so yeah, when when uh, Tracy had invited us to come and record, you know, a few songs, um, it was really exciting for us because we thought, oh man, all right, this is great. We're gonna have a good a good sounding demo tape that yeah. we can take to Stex and try to get a gig there. <laughs> so that's that's how that. That's how that started. I mean, we had no idea that the album was going to get played on the radio. We had, I mean, we had no idea that we'd get invited to the Hoku's and I mean, you know, all that stuff. I mean, it was just crazy. So here's the question: Did uh -huh. Stex let you guys dig there? <laughs> no, we never, what? we never ever got it. Well, wow. well, because after the album came out, the day that the album came out, um, you know, uh, yeah. Um, FM 100 played the entire album on the radio. Really? He said, you got to check, you know, this brand new album just out. These guys, Pure Heart, you know, you got to hear. And, he, and they played the whole record. Wow. Yeah. And, How did uh, they get it? Um, so, I don't know. I guess maybe Tracy, who was our producer, must have talked oh. with them. Or the, or our, distribu our distributor at the time, Microphone Music, you know, maybe had, you know, had given the CD. Could, wow. Because, you know, we were only doing graduation parties yeah. and things like that. So we didn't think anybody knew who, who we were, right? And then we got, um, yeah, and then after our album came out, then we, uh, we got invited to play at the Makabash. Which is this little step up yeah. of, above Stex. Yeah. <laughs> just, just tiny. <laughs> so, yeah, we did Macaw Bash, and then we did the FM 100, the birthday. Remember yeah. the birthday bash? Yeah. That was so. the first time I saw you guys play. Mm. And uh, from then on, I, the next day I went and bought your album. I oh, think, no way. Yeah, and I was hooked from there. Wow. But, yeah, seeing you live was what did it for mm. me. Because uh, up until then, when you watch bands, it's just them standing yeah, you know, yeah. And, playing, and they could be really talented but 
to see how much uh, passion and spirit you guys had in your performances, oh, yeah. especially with you. Mm. I don't think anyone had ever seen ukulele played like that. <laughs> and, I was, and then I was like, hey, he's Asian like me too. Okay. <laughs> 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 but yeah, that's crazy. That, uh, is, is it normal though for, because I would think for radio stations, they're very selective with what yeah. they play, let alone well, a whole album, well, I, right? I think, well, I think back then, you know, they had a lot more um, freedom, oh, you know, yeah. to play whatever whatever they wanted, and um, yeah. So we're we're very fortunate. I mean, the the radio really supported us, you know. Did you know they and were gonna that no. they either had it? Oh gosh, no. no. So how we, did you we, find out they were playing it? Well, we turned on the radio and it was, they were playing it. Wow. <laughs> yeah. You just happened to turn on. <laughs> yeah. Wow. What? what did that feel like? It was. Oh, it was weird because I, I didn't feel like I was listening to the radio. Yeah. I felt like I just had a CD, you know, like <laughs> right. in, in the player. Yeah, it was just the, the craziest thing. So, yeah, it was, it was really cool. I mean, I, I was, um, I mean, none of us expected that. Yeah. Of course, you know, there's no way. Were you all together when you heard or were you? No, no, because I remember I was at home. I was living uh, in this little apartment on Olokele Avenue. And uh, and I remember I, I had this little this little uh, you know radio in my bedroom and I you know I, I walked in and turned the, turned the radio on and then uh, one of our you know one of <laughs> it was actually the song um, it's it's the song on the first album called You Came Into My Life and it was mm-hmm. one of the first songs I ever wrote and I heard I, I turned it on and it was on I was like wait what what's going on right <laughs> and then and then when it was done then. Uh, then uh, yeah, um, David D was like, oh yeah, you know, new album, you know, these you know boys, boys named Pure Heart, you know, this band called Pure Heart. We're playing their their whole record, and and then yeah, and, and then went into the next song, and next song. I was just like, what is going on? I called John. I was like, oh my gosh, we're on the radio, you know. Did, so. did they know or? Uh, no, yeah, I, oh. yeah. I think I was the first to to hear it, and then and then I called, yeah, John oh. and Lopaka. That's so, crazy. Yeah, we were all stoked. So, yeah, and that was, I mean, it was so exciting, you know. Yeah. I still, like, trip out because they still play um, some of the songs, you know, from from the album. Really? Yeah, uh-huh. every once in a while. Like, sometimes I'll be walking around Alamana Shopping Center and I'll, I'll hear one of yeah. the Pure Heart tunes come out. Like, hey, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah. 